In this lesson, we are going to enable code linting on backend and frontend project. Here I'm in server.js. Let's say what happens if I change app to app one. What I'm supposed to get from code editor is red underline for app because app is not defined. And for app one, there should be a warning that let me know that I need to change this to something that is using in this code. This feature is called code linting. It helps developers find errors faster and fix them easier. We are going to use ESLint as a code linter. So let's use that. Open terminal. And in the root folder of JSMazona, install ESLint as a dev dependency. npm install dash d ESLint. After installing ESLint, it's time to go to VS Code extension and search for ESLint. Type ESLint and press enter and click the ESLint. At this page, you need to click install button because I've already installed it. It just show me uninstall. So you need to click on green install button for ESLint and wait a moment to install that. After installing ESLint, installing ESLint package, it's time to go for configuration. What we're gonna do is to create .eslint rc.js. Right click new file in the root folder, enter .eslint.js rc.js in this javascript file we, we are going to define setting for eslint the setting it's like a javascript module let's implement that module dot exports equal to the first parameter is for environment we are going to use browser because we have front end to true you are going to use backends, so set node to true, and also set ES2020 to true. They are environments for this ESLint configuration. The second option for ESLint is about extends or extensions. We are going to use extend equal to set Airbnb base. Air bmb dash base it's just a list of coding rules that make your code consistent and integrated that's it for extension and let's set parser options parser options equal to set source type to module the reason we are going to use this setting is because of using import export ES6 module style in our backend project. And it's time to set ECMAScript or JavaScript version. ECMA version equal to 11. We need to install this package. To do that, open terminal and run this command npm install dash d eslint dash config dash air bnb dash base and put in a space install the second important plugin eslint dash plugin dash import the first plugin apply airbnb coding style and the second one make it possible to have import export validation in your javascript code so by installing these two packages it's time to press Ctrl Shift P and type ESLint. This time select disable ESLint and then type again this command and this time select enable ESLint. In the .eslint RC, there is a typo in the file name, rename, get rid of dot here. It should be .eslint RC.js. By pressing enter, and opening server.js, this time you can get errors. So 
The first error is about not using app one. If I change it to app, this error is gonna gone. The second error is about not having a line space between imports and code. By pressing enter, it's gonna work. The next error, it says unexpected use of file extension. You can get rid of this here. As you see, it just apply a coding style that make your code better to maintain and extend. Also, there are some warnings. If you don't like to have these warnings, it's easy. Just click on it and then click on this lamp icon and then click on disable no console for the entire file. And if you are interested to not have this type of error in other files, what you need to do is to copy this part of ESLint disable go to .eslintrc.js and right after parser option press enter and create rules section for rules section create single quotes and paste no dash console and put colon and zero by having this all errors about console is gonna be gone let's get rid of this and as you see, there is no warning or error next to this line. So what we did in this session is to enabling code linting in our project and it just apply to the front end too. If I open a project, a front end folder, let's say home screen, you know, it just apply this to this. Let's press Ctrl S to apply this. If you press Ctrl S, this setting doesn't work. It means that you need to enable code action on save to fix all ESLint. So let's do that. Press Command Shift P or Ctrl Shift P and type JSON. Select preferences, open JSON file and add this two line. The first line is editor.format on save to true. This is the first setting you need to add. And the second one is this, editor.codeactions on save to source.fixall.eslint to true. By adding this too, when you press Ctrl S in your code, all errors is gonna fixed. So if you have files that there are some errors, that file is gonna be read like this and this and you need to fix them so that's it for this lesson what we did together is to enable code linting using eslint in our project and for next session we are going to install some vs code extension to better and faster code until that lesson bye bye